Greetings, everybody, and welcome to another Friday night on the Hermacraft server with me, the Wren, the Diggity, the Dog. What's cracking, beautiful people? What's cracking? <laughs> hey, Doc, what's up, brother? The notorious Doc M77 hanging out with us and chat today, friends. Doc, you gotta give the people a bit of time to get into the room, you know what I mean? Doc, Doc is, uh, asks, why doesn't he speak? Listen. Doc, this is the theater of the rain, okay? You gotta let the VIPs get to the front seats. You gotta get, let everybody get into the back seats. You gotta let the porters close the doors, get the darkness in the theater. You gotta give the people time to settle in, Doc. Jeez. Trust me, I'm a professional. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream, guys. And thank you so much for kicking things off with... Uh, some incredible generosity straight off the bat gg in the house with a seven month resub and gongan 2 following that up with a 20 gifted sub bomb outrageous outrageous generosity thank you gongan as always for uh, supporting my work here on twitch I do appreciate you my friend thank you guys welcome to the stream we are prepping for um a diamond caving session because I'm working on my next episode, and I'm hard stuck, you see. Um, I'm hard stuck with resources. Last stream, we actually, I did show you guys what we're going to be building over here. We're building a, a little sugarcane factory. But it's quite a fancy build. So, um, you know, it's going to require quite a lot of blocks. In particular, it requires, I think, 5,000 grey concrete, which I do not have. And I don't really feel like making it, so I just want to buy it from false. And the good news is the concrete shop is fully stocked and ready to be purchased from. Bad news is my businesses no longer make any money. Everybody's got the beacons that they want. Nobody wants beacons anymore, so I don't sell beacons anymore. Nobody wants diorite, obviously. And nobody wants granite either. So uh, we are literally making... Oh, also nobody wants shirts too lots of grumbling about the uh, the price of shirts you know the <laughs> yeah we also lost quite a lot of diamonds over at doc's casino <laughs> we don't mention that doc we don't tell the people that okay don't gamble kids it's bad um <clears throat> what was i saying i've lost my train of thought oh yes shirts listen these hermits been complaining about the price of shirts you know what this has made me realize? Despite being professional Minecraft players, I doubt any of these hermits have ever actually tickled sand for a shirt. Thank you for the level 4 hype train, uh, by the way, guys. Very kind of you to uh, kick things off to a level 4 in the train department on this very lovely Friday evening. You know what? I raise my beverage in all of your general directions. Thank you, friends. That's thanks to a whole bunch of other gifted subs coming in here from Kristen. STB's here with the 27 months. What you doing with the 32 months? Nerdy's back at it with the 11 months. Didi with five gifted subs. Mediza here with a four month resub. And Star with five gifted subs too. Wow, guys, so much, so much uh, support. Thank you, friends. I appreciate it. Thanks, friends. Yeah, so listen, I don't think hermits have actually ever gone shirt hunting because they clearly have no idea how long it takes to go shirt hunting. The shirts have different uh, rarities. They have different drop rates. And the shirts that have a drop rate of like 6.3%, they are only found in certain types of trail runs, ruins or whatever. And you have very little chance of finding them in the ruin. There's only 6.3% chance to drop one of the rarer ones every time you tickle a bit of sand. And in each ruin, there's what, like 64 sands to tickle? The odds are so low. These hermits have no idea how difficult it is to get these shards. And if they want the specific shard, like say, say somebody wants angling shard, right? Like the fishing rods shard. Yeah, that's going to take hours of, of tickling to get that one. Just because the odds are so low. So I don't know. I don't know what these hermits are talking about. Pay the damn diamonds, people, or go tickle the sand yourself. That's all I'm saying. 
I shall not tickle sand again. I'm done tickling sand. We spent 12 hours tickling sand. No more shall we tickle. <clears throat> anyway, rant over. <laughs> um, night vision. Yes, we're going caving, guys. Today, we're going to go find some diamonds. My plan is to try to do this as professionally as possible. Oh, my good lord. One second. At, mm, at this rate, I don't think we're getting into the caves. Because there's madness in, there's madness in the notification machines. Yo, GG. What, what's up, what's up, what's up, GG? I think GG might be, uh, maybe, you know... <laughs> good halfway through a, a lovely bottle of whiskey or something. Feeling particularly generous this evening. 77 gifted subs in honor of the dark. Yo, GG, that is absolutely insane. Thank you so much. So generous of you. Thank you, thank you. Guys, if you did get one of the 77 GG subs, please. Please, big thank you in the chat. Wow, that's 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 completely crazy. I mean, that's about as many viewers as we have right now. Sheesh. Madness. Thank you, GG. I don't, you know... You're so generous to me, and and you've um, you've supported me in so many ways over the over such a long time. I have very few words left to thank you, but I just want you to know how much I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Support like this really helps me keep the show going, and um, helps to alleviate a lot of stress that comes along with this crazy, crazy job. So, thank you, Gigi. Appreciate you. Okay, I'm distracted. Uh, night vision. Yes. <laughs> We are going to cave as professionally as possible, okay? That's the plan today. Professional caving. That means night vision, um, night vision? We're not going to be strip mining or any doing any nonsense like that, dudes. We are using the standard issue Gigacorp flight, Elytra flight module. And we're going to go and find some fresh caves and just yoink the diamonds straight out of the walls. We're not going to strip. Listen, my mama always told me, stripping ain't good. No more stripping for this doll. You know what I'm saying? Yo, SDB has done some crazy math, guys. 21.4% of all viewers got a sub at the time of that donation. That is some big numbers. Good Lord. Ah, uh, Doc has offered to use the, the tunnel ball. No, thank you, Doc. I'm going to do it uh, the good old-fashioned way. I need to get some some blocks and redstone and things like that i just feel like caving today i just feel like caving i just want to go do some caving that's it when i was thinking about what to do this evening for stream i was like you know what i want to go into a stream with my viewers we're going to chill we're going to chat it's going to be sweet that's the plan busy busy week so far absolutely insane thank you Gigi, for uh hooking almost a quarter of the viewers up amazing what is happening? I made mundane potions? Yo, GG, look at this. You've you've ruined my ability to to actually play the game. Wait. Water, water, water. Okay. <laughs> These can despawn in a corner, right? Let's get rid of this nonsense. Okay. Here we go. How many more of these do we need, though? We've got, I have a full shulker box here. I guess I don't, I don't want to take the strength potions. We'll fill this one up. Let's dump these here. I kind of want to just take six extra in the inventory. That's what I was thinking. Also, we need to make sure we're fully loaded on all the other things that we need. Food, uh, XP. Maybe we need some more Joel juice, but trouble is out of diamonds. Can't buy more Joel juice. Can't buy anything. I think I've got eight diamonds left to my name, so... We are, uh, we are definitely lacking in the diamond department this evening. I guess we're taking all of this stuff. Arrows, don't forget the arrows if we're going to take the bow. I mean, I hardly ever use a bow when caving, but let's be professional about this, okay? So we're taking the bows. We're taking this. This is going to be... This is, the, uh, this is the chest in which we keep all the gear. Oh, I also thought we could be quite professional and... Um, Ender chests, that's what I need. I need a lot of ender chests. Yeah. Ender chests I do not have right now. We might have to go on a little mission for ender chests, friends. We just need a bunch of obsidian. 
and blaze rods, I guess? Uh, wait, are we going to spend the last of our diamonds on blaze rods? Probably. Uh, what else do we need? I mean, we're looking good here. Oh my goodness, the notification machine is melting down. Jenska's coming in hot here, friends, with 25 gifted subs. Yo, Jessica, baby, thank you. Jessica's another massive supporter of this channel and a supporter of my work. Thank you, Jessica. You know how much I appreciate you, baby. I hope you're having a great Friday. hope you had a great week, and thank you for your generosity as always. 25 more gifted subs to the face. Also, by the way, at the beginning of the stream, Proud Looney dropping a cool 1K bits on the Ren Diggity Dog, hitting that TTS up. Welcome one and all to another Ren Diggity Dog. You know what? We re-roll re that bad boy. Because on this channel, if you guys want a TTS, which is a text-to-speech uh, message, there's a thousand biddies or ten pounds or over, uh, ten dollars or over, um, and we have a threshold there so that we don't have we don't have constant interruptions. But um, oh my goodness. Okay, listen, people, I need to get into the. Have I not just explained that I want to go into the caves and do some caving? What is happening here? The Patreons are coming out to play on a Friday. I I have a feeling, and this is just a feeling. I can neither confirm nor deny, but I am going to perhaps suggest that some of my lovely Patreons are perhaps playing some sort of a, a game that involves an alcoholic beverage. And perhaps every time Rendog says perhaps, they have to have a sip of their beverage, and they seem to be, be flinging subs left, right, and center now. Good lord. Foofalicious, dropping te uh, 10, dropping 50 gifted subs to the face, people. That's uh, that's the big 5 -oh. That's off the back of Jenska's big 2-5, which is off the back of, uh, of Gongan's 77. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, how much are these? Two diamonds per stack. We'll take... We'll take two stacks. Guys, please, be gentle. Verve is here also with the five gifted subs, by the way. Yo, very lovely to see you again. How you doing? Always great to see you here on the stream. And thank you. That's actually seven gifted subs in total because Verve just dropped two gifted subs and then five on top of that. It's all kicking off, people. Jeez. Thanks, everyone. Um, <clears throat> let's try be professional about these things, though, hey? We're on a mission tonight. We're going caving. Now, I want to be, I want to be the best caver that I can be. I have a, a plan. Let's make beds. We use beds to respawn. Because that's what beds do. Believe it or not, beds let you respawn. If for some, I mean, and let's be real. This is, I mean, you know. A ridiculous hypothetical. But say, just for example, for some reason we die. Um, we want to we be able to respawn. You know, it's just precautionary, guys. You know how you put, like, uh, fire alarms in your house? You know, just in case the place burns down? It's that kind of deal. It's just, it's just, it's just, just, a, just, a, just, a, just a just in case thing. You know? Like, chances of death extremely low, but, you know, you never know. Just in case. And if I do die, it won't be my fault, by the way. It definitely won't be my fault. No. No. Don't you know I've never died in the game of Minecraft? It is, in fact, Hermacraft law. Rendog has never died. Uh, we need we need obsidian. Off to the gold farm we go. By the way, I don't even think we're going to get to the caves at this rate. I should have done all the prep before this. I'm looking over to the right. That was a level 11 hype train. That train got derailed so hard, it smashed through a mountain, went down the crevasse of a dead volcano, followed the vein all the way into the center of the earth, and splishity splashed into the very core of this planet. Oh wait, it's still going. Never mind, it's halfway down one of the tubes of the center of the earth. It's getting there. There's no obsidian. Oh, there is. Never mind. Okay. Um. Wait. More. More. 
More obsidian, all the obsidian. Okay, we're going to make some, um, a lot of ender chests. I, I, I was supposed to replenish my ender chest collection. I, I've placed them. I had a stack. They've been placed all over the world, so. We need some, oh my good lord. People, can you please relax with the gifted bub, gifted bum? Okay, I think we're ending the stream. Bye everybody, my brain's melted. See you later. Thanks for all the gifted bums, guys. <laughs> How did my brain go there? That's suspicious. I mean, I've got a cup of tea here also. You know, they might I might have some of uh, Gigi's whiskey in my tea. Who knows? <laughs> Jessica with another five gifted subs. Gigi with another 50 gifted subs. That's 50 plus 77. I don't know how to do quick math. That's over 100 gifted subs from, from Gongan. Thank you, my friend. Very generous of you. Thank you. Didi with five gifted subs also. And Foofalicious with another 50 of the subaration gifting. Gift gifting. Guys, I'm going to have to mute the alerts because we're going to hear this noise for at least three hours. So I'm going to mute it for a little bit. Sleepy Kara's five gifted subs also. That's right after Virov with the five gifted. That's a level 13 hype train. That, tra that train's approaching the center of the stinking earth, people. We're going to exploderate the planet tonight. Unbelievable. Thank you, guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. I've, I've lost... I've lost... I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> I don't know what is occurring. Uh, uh, I guess we need end, end pearls. End pearls. Uh, we need end pearls for a caving too, though. Okay, wait. We make this, we make this. We make this. Whoops, we make this. Yeah, this is how we make the eyes of the ender. A uh, few more eyes of the ender. 64 ender chests created like a professional. Did you see that, guys? Within just a few clicks, 64 ender chests have spawned and splooped out of nowhere. I know, I know. One of the greatest Minecraft players you've ever seen. Peter Plurab. Wait. Yo, Peter Rabbit, dude, five gifted subs, thank you. <laughs> Angel's here also with a gifted sub. Thank you, Angel. And thank you to Pony Hessen with for the biddies. Monetase with the biddies too. Level 13 insanity. Sleepy says uh, with some biddies, too good to be back on the rain stream. How are you doing this Friday? I'm doing real good, thank you. Ch -ch chillin'. Absolutely chin chillin'. Have you guys seen, like, the really cool stuff that we've been doing in the base? Hold on, let me turn the Gigavisor on real quick. You want to see this in the shaders? Look at this. Look at this. The groves. The groves have been sprouting, everyone. Look at this. I did a little bit more work on this grove today. I planted some teenage trees here. Which I think look, uh, look really cool. I think, like, some of the big forests will have little teenage trees in, too. And um, the base is, like... It's funny, you just add a couple of forests and a giant hangar bay or a giant, uh, like, starport, and suddenly the base starts to feel like a base, you know? Before, the base was feeling a little bit, like, empty and not really up to scratch as far as a base is concerned, but you can imagine a few more patches of these forests, and this place is, like, you know, 40% complete. Oh, good lord. Okay, hold on. I'm Guys, I'm sweating. I'm legitimate. It's it's like autumn slash winter in, in England. You're making me sweat, people. GG's. I mean, another 12% of that bottle of whiskey's just gone down. And it must be a tasty batch. We're talking like Lefroig 50 year or something. Because that's another 50 gifted subs from Gongan 2. My peoples, I don't even know what to say at this point. I think, at this point, every single viewer in the stream has been gifted a sub. By the way, Nuno the Kitters is also here with five gifted subs just before that. In fact, make that ten gifted subs in total from Nuno. Guys, can you please take it easy? Fallen Wolf here with a 17 months also. Oh, good lord. Well, this is not what I was expecting to happen on a Friday. After a, an entire week of hard grind... I come here to chill and you guys blow my mind. 
Oh, I've muted the no the notifications, which means the TTS isn't gonna work. Okay. I'm I'm I'm. <laughs> what a shambles. Eternal Santa Shell, thank you for the 1,000 biddies. That's only going to get read out in about an hour and a half, my friend. That TTS is literally trapped behind at least 150 gifted subs from Gongan. Uh, 50 subs from Free Felicious. 25 gifted subs from, from Jeska. A 57 re-month, re-month, a 57 re-month subscription from princess guys i i it's over my brain's my brain has exploded <laughs> oh man very very sweaty indeed now listen all of the support is um is going to a good place let me tell you i am going on a trip to London this month for two reasons number one I'm going to visit some old friends that I haven't seen in I mean the last time I saw them was a few years before COVID and these are two these are my two best friends in the world whom I haven't seen now for maybe six or seven years and I'm starting to feel like um, we are disconnecting you know, like we do chat online and whatever over the years, we keep in touch digitally or whatever, but it's not the same thing. So before I lose them, I need to go and, and spend a bit of time with them. So I thought that at, uh, at some point this month, I might pop over to London for an afternoon and go and have some lunch with them. On top of that, I'm hoping that I can visit, uh, go on like a, a, a UK hermit visiting trip or or something. I want to see if maybe I can visit some of the hermits that live around in England just to say hello and touch base. Potentially even head, uh, I don't know, if anybody's around, any of the UK people are around, any of the rats, any of your hermits, anybody, I want to see if I can uh, go and visit them. And of course, uh, heading, heading down to London is quite an expensive adventure. And, um, you know, treating a couple of friends to dinner in London is, is going to be a, a pricey affair. But but worth it for um, for personal health reasons. So all of this is going to a really, really good cause. So thank you very much, everybody, for all of the support. In other good news, I uh, recently booked my flight to South Africa for Christmas, and I'm going to be going over to South Africa for uh, about not very long at all, um, to be honest. I need to need to be back early January to uh, get back to work but I do want to go and spend Christmas with my parents because I have not spent Christmas with my family in a very very long in, in many years and I think it's about time that um, we do that um, I think it's important as you as you get older and as your parents get older you got to take you got to find time in your life to spend time with them uh, especially over important holidays like Christmas so all of this uh, all of the support is just going straight into pay, paying for all of that travel and, and all of those expenses. So thank you, friends. Um, very, very much appreciated. With, without the support, I wouldn't be able to do any of that. So um, it really means a lot to me. So thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, before I burst into tears, let's... Let's refocus. What are we doing? We need more... Okay, we need more ender pearls before we do anything. Then we're pretty much good to go. Let's go get some ender pearls. Catch our breath a little bit. Feeling quite overwhelmed right now. So... <laughs> Let's go kill some endermen. That's always a great way to relieve the stress. GG, by the way. Thank you very much for yet another gifted sub here to Lazy9. Appreciate you. Joe has joined us. Even Joe. What's up, my dude? What's up? What's up? Thanks to all the sub bombs this evening, guys. Unbelievable. Almost too many to, to actually start naming here. GG, Nuno. Jezka, Didi, Fufalicious, Sleepy, Verov. Vision Spell, thank you for your tier one subscription. Completely missed that one. 
Star 27 also with the bombs. So many, I can't read them, guys. If you if you subbed and I missed it, I'm so sorry. Um, if you uh, if if you sub bombed and I missed it, I'm so sorry. But thank you very very much. Tati has just joined. What has happened? It's been an absolute ins insanity Friday. I don't know what has happened. But we shot up from 1,008, 1,011 subscribers to 1,383 subscribers in the space of just a few minutes. That's what happened. So, not sure what to say other than thank you. I don't have a sword. <laughs> I don't have a sword, guys. Oh, this is okay. We'll just we'll just try your. Okay, that's that was someone left a bunch of ender pearls here, so that's fine. <laughs> We'll drop the excess off in the base. We have an ender chest. Uh, we have a slot for ender, ender pearls there. Okay, good. Whew, man, trying to realign my brain. You guys have melted, legitimately melted my brain. Whoopsie. Okay, uh, let's just get some things here. I've re I've, Are we actually going to get to caving at this rate? It doesn't feel like it, does it? This feels like... Uh, one of those Randog missions that never actually becomes a mission. I'm, I'm determined, though, friends. We're going to make it happen, okay? I promise. To the caves we go. Right. Rockets in the end chest. Um, Where's the sword? The sword's in here. Okay, this is our adventure box. All right? Maybe we want an adventure box to be a different color. Like, what do we... What? What's What's the color of adventure? <laughs> uh, Like, cyan? I think. No purple purple mm. wait what is the color of adventure anyway Ye yellow purple's kind of like adventure isn't it yeah like i mean i guess yellow is you know that's the sign of quest symbols in rpgs you know like yellow question marks and things orange hmm end of chest in the end of chest good idea that's good thinking okay we go for yellow we make it yellow the, the light blue ender chest for me, my, in my brain, indicates, uh, like, resource box. That's what I keep resources in. So, I wanted a different color there. Okay, good. Do we have everything that we need? Have I forgotten something? Highly likely that a lot has been forgotten. Hold on, let's see. Let's check the adventure box. So, torches for days. Eternal finish ocean at X1000. Just skate. Okay. They're coming through. <laughs> Lon Beauty underscore 96 chill at X1000. Hiring and chat. Can't stick around due to Friday night in the kitchen. Have a great stream. <laughs> <laughs> They're finally coming through. Eternal Seneschal, thank you for the 1K biddies. Wait, what? Wait, I missed that one. I, I, I missed that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I, hold on. One second. A little bit for your London trip. Fun. Have an awesome time, RDTV Heart. Okay. Well, I, I missed that one. In and amongst the chaos. Blonde Beauty, I hope you have a, a great time in the kitchen tonight. Hope there's some some lovely food coming out of that kitchen. I have no doubt you are a a cooking goddess. Polar Bear here with some biddies too. With a 1k TTS. Just a, a, a little bit of luck for your London trip fund. Have an awesome time. Thank you, Polar. And GG with a, a crazy generous tip. I mean, I don't even I don't even know what to say with that. With that one. JJJ also five gifted subs friends. I mean we got to make some noises. Make hit the noise even the shirt noise can we can shirt? Shirt? Oh, the stream deck's broken. Yo, GG you broke the stream deck. Sure. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Yo GG you added like a 
15 second delay to the st to the stream deck. <laughs> so it played all of our sound effects at the same time. <laughs> Shirt. Oh my good lord. Okay, hold on. I am leg guys. I don't want to be inappropriate, but I think I might have to re remove some clothing. <laughs> I am overheating. I might have to turn the heat. I'd like, I need to turn the heating off or something. It's it's hella cold today. But I'm cooking. I'm cooking alive. Okay. Whew. Let's get the music back on here. Try try get, get, maintain some semblance of sanity. Hey, Bea, what's up, my friend? Thank you, Gigi, for that crazy generous tip. Dinner with friends. You know, the sad thing is, Gigi, as you as you uh, well know, <laughs> that's going to cover dinner for three in London. <laughs> you hate to see it. <laughs> ah, this economy, hey? This economy. Oh, okay. Let's try and refocus. Guys, can you please check my boxes? Have we got everything that we need? We need we need torches? Wait, we have we're not good. We're using night vision. We don't need torches. We need torches, we need weapons. Check. Weapons check. Uh we just need we don't even need a fortune pickaxe, right? We need a shovel. We don't need a diamond sword with us. Oh, you know what we need is like scaffolding blocks, right? We need like blocks, like uh new new pillar blocks. Are we just taking dirt? I guess. We could also just take scaffolding. You know? Scaffolding legit, actually. Like, replaceable, easily replenished. Sure. Scaffolding, good. Although, I think we want to take extra scaffolding then. Uh, in the ender chest, too. Oh, we need to put the ender chest in the ender chest. Yes, 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 yes. There's some extra scaffolding in here. Let's put like half the ender chest in the ender chest. That's important. We've got beds. Beds check. Shield check. I don't really use a shield though when I cave, generally speaking. Especially if we're going to use the bow. I probably won't use the shield. Uh, we got armor. We're taking our um, our giga armor. I mean, it's, is it worth risking the, the Gigacorp armor? We do have, like, some diamond armor. I mean... it's. I mean, it's not great armor, though. You know? Oh, you know what? We're going We're going with gold, guys. We're going gold. It's fine. We'll be, everything will be fine. Oh, wait. There is... I think there's decent diamond armor in here. Hmm... Yes. You know what? We're going gold armor. It makes it more interesting. It makes it more fun. For me, anyway. Sucker for punishment. Plus, we need to train for the next MCC, right? I need to get better at this game, guys. What's cool about wearing uh, golden armor for stuff like this is that it forces you to uh, be a little bit better at the game, you know? Like, you, you train yourself to be a bit better, so. That's the theory, anyway. Unproven at this point. Because, what are we? We came 36th? in the last MCC? I mean, it wasn't 40th, but, you know, 36 out of 40? Eh. You know. It, it, yeah. uh, let's just say I'm not, I'm not putting that up on my wall, you know what I mean? <laughs> hashtag not last. Yeah, hashtag not last. Yeah, exactly. Well, we've got a whole bunch of beds, right, to respawn on, so that's good. Oh, I guess the only thing left now is to actually find um... A place to actually do the caving sesh. So let's do this, friends. Welcome to Friday Night Caving. Here on the Hermitcraft server. It's going to be a blast. I'm assuming we haven't left anything. I think we're all good, right? We've got our potions. Are the potions in... The Wait, where are the potions? Are they in the ender chest? I just know that something's going to be left behind. Oh, spare elytra, actually. That's... That's kind of important. Let's take Spare Elytra just in case. We got a little bit of Joel Juice left. Not much. 
potions are here. Let's put these over here, I think. Potions here. Do we want, like, a, a cheeky fire resist potion in the hot barn, just in case we dig into, like, a lava pit or something? The barn chef is uh, caving, too. Hey, how many of you out there are caving right now? And if you aren't caving, you should be caving, because that's how we should be spending a Friday. In the caves, my friends, with each other, just chilling. Okay, um... Do you guys remember where we went shirt hunting? I know I went on a bit of a shirt rant earlier. I know that that is in the middle of nowhere and potentially un un uh, unexplored out there. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's unexplored. Let's do this. It was somewhere in this direction, I think. Um, Keep your eyeballs open for... For a thing for a portal there no that's th what is that spider spider thing i mean i guess we could make our own ender portal i think this might be it actually is this it i mean i never make portals like this but maybe we can just Go here. Whatever portal this is, we use this portal. It's fine. Thingamabob, Thingamabob's vault hunting. Nice. I mean, that's basically caving, right? Basically. Okay. Well, we're in a lovely, fresh patch of the server. I wonder how much of this uh, is new chunks. Has this area been pruned, I wonder? Let's look. N I mean, maybe. It's hard to tell. I will take flint and steel, though, just in case we have to make an ender portal. Did we come shirt hunting out here, I wonder? This looks fresh, right? This has not been raided. Interesting. Okay. We can't help us. Ooh, that's... That was close. Can't help myself. I must know what's down here. Anything good? Golden apple, riptide, diamonds. Well, I mean, we are on the hunt for diamonds today, so we'll take the diamonds. I guess I'll take the golden apples too. Nice. Well, that was, you know, that was pretty nice. Pretty nice. That's a great start to our little uh, diamond hunting excursion. <laughs> Three diamonds right off the bat. Nice. Nyat's doing chores. You can't do a chores on a Friday, surely. Surely you must, uh, you must say no to chores on a Friday. Hmm. You might you know what might be a worthy endeavor, guys? What if we how how many azalea bushes are you guys seeing this? Wait a minute, this is a This is some sort of a cursed biome, or has the spawn rate of azalea trees been drastically in increased? What the heck? Do you see this? Yo, Nip, I do use headphones. Um, I use, uh, I actually use Rode headphones. I'm just looking at them now, if there's a number on them. I, don't, I can't actually remember what the, um, what the actual model is, but it's around the $100 price tag. I mean, I guess it's a, a lush cave. It's a huge, I mean, this is great. What a great source of rooted dirt, right? I'm literally thinking, like, do we just dig down into caves via root to dirt action? Right? Have, have, you, have any of you ever seen this many in one place? I mean, this is crazy. It continues over there, too. Look, there's another one here. Another one. What? Guys, this is bugged. This is insane. Oh man, this would be such this would be so great for a single player world, right? Like this is your spawn. There it continues over here. Look at this. It doesn't stop. There's more. No stinking ways. This is crazy, guys. Wow. Look, it carries on. This is madness. Wow. Okay, well, this is an absolutely insane find. 
Did anybody note the cohorts of that nether portal? I kind of want to come and show this in a, in a video. That's, uh, that's pretty nuts. I guess this might be the, uh, the entrance into this lush cave system, right? Let's go take a look. Let's get some torches out. Do some initial... I mean, I kind of... You know what? Rooted dirt is something that I need a lot of. Especially now that we've figured out the block palette for our mycelium grove floor. I feel like uh, we should at least make use of this opportunity and uh, dig up a little bit of, of rooted dirt from one of these beautiful azaleas. Here we go. Let's head into the cave system via rootage. Which is not a sentence I thought I would ever say, but here we are. Basically feels like, feels like we're shirt hunting again, guys. We're getting flashbacks up in here. Hold on. Wait. What? Wait, what? Guys. Minecraft broken? What? Is this normal? I.e. Uh, can Azadias have like a very, very diddly little root system. I thought they go down like way more. What the heck? Hold on. What if we just follow the sandstone all the way down? Where is the rooted dirt? It's here. What the heck? What? Okay. Minecraft is blowing my mind today, guys. This is really weird. This one is uh, a no-go because there's water down there, right? That's kind of awkward. I don't really want to deal with water. So we're just going to leave this one. Go do another one. Azalea trees seem to spawn more in deserts. I mean, is that like actually a, an IRL fact? Or is, <laughs> is that one of those weird Minecraft facts? Feels like a weird Minecraft fact, right? Yeah, this really is. This is some of the craziest generation I think I've ever seen. This one does the same thing. Look at this. It just goes to the top of sandstone. And then we got to blast our way down through this like really thick sandstone level. And then it's into this underground ocean, basically. Whoops. And then the root of dirt. Where's the root of dirt again? There. Look. What the heck, dudes? It starts all the way down here. It's it's like the water's messing with it, right? The water's doing like something really weird to the terrain generation. Wow, that is bizarre. <laughs> Star says it might be a biome someone made like on, uh, on Dogcraft. <laughs> Wait, did somebody make a weird like hybrid um, desert biome in, in, on Dogcraft? What's the story? Oh, it's definitely got something to do with the water, right? Definitely. Okay, let's plug all of this up. And I guess our caving sesh has begun, guys. It's a bit of a weird one. Definitely the most unique way that I've ever gone into a cave. And we bust straight into a Abandoned mine shaft? Alright. Interesting. We're at level Y39 for this mine shaft, which is a little bit too high for diamonds. Might take a very quick look around though. Let's see. Any nearby chests we can uh, we can have a look in. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, that's a men. I mean not gonna say no to a mending book right like look we may be eight months into the season or whatever and we're hyper rich but i don't have a mending book so we're gonna take that one very nice that's pretty tasty anything else in here by the way guys please let me know how's the audio right now you guys happy can you hear the game sounds can you hear the 
the voice of the Ren Diggity Dao. Can you hear the music? Everything good? Exactly, that's worth three diamonds, that, uh, that mending book. This might be the diddliest little abandoned mine shaft that I've ever seen. Like, how tiny is this thing? That's what she said. I, 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 even the camel couldn't stop me. Sorry, everybody. There'll be no more of those tonight, I promise. It was just, you know, couldn't resist that one. Yo, the happy sock, four months in a row. Hey, Renzo, happy to catch another stream? Exactly what I needed for this cozy Friday evening. I mean, it's unclear uh, <laughs> how cozy caving is. But, you know, when you're a professional... Oh, my goodness. When you're, like, a professional like me, you know, it's, it's easy. Easy caving, easy diamonds. <laughs> I mean, we've only found three diamonds so far. Well, I guess the mending book counts as three diamonds, so we found six diamonds so far. Right, shall we venture downwards? The lava beckons us forth deeper into the depths of Minecraft. What waits for us down below is unclear. But it will become clear very, very soon indeed. Uh, uh-oh. That's the sound of a baby that might drop on us. Drop babies. Drop babies, the deadliest of all the babies. Lava, can you please hurry the freak up? Thank you. Just going to light this up on the way down. There's the deep slate. That's what we want to see. Now, the plan is to bust into some nice, windy, deep slate caves. And uh, get some night vision going. For well, these, like, really craggly bits, I think we'll use torches. We're at minus one now. Oh, you know what? We're going to silk touch these. Because, I don't know, I just love that block. I think that block's really cool. Plus, this block is cool, too. And I guess we got to do some stripping. Could do a little bit... Oh, here we go. Okay. Um. Is this... It's an axolotl. This is this massive underground ocean that we found that that sprouted all of these azaleas, right? That's what's going on over here. Hello, axolotl. May I please have some of your oxygen? Thank you. Um, would like to get into a cave system, though. This is just deep, deep ocean. Let's see. How do we get in here in the first place? I think we might just have to dig down. I think we might just have to do some stripping here, friends. Even though it's not recommended by the mama. Okay. I guess we just go down. Good old-fashioned way. See if we can bust into... Uh, Another cave system. Well, we're not getting into a cave system, but we're getting into... Wait, isn't this where we just were? Pretty sure this is where we just were. Does this go downwards? Okay, hold on. Um, Can I... Sorry, it's so dark, everybody. Let me try lighting this up a little bit for you. There we go. Okay. Let's go from here. We need to get underneath this giant underground ocean. We could be sipping on a, on a night vision potion here, too. I guess we could do that in the ocean, though, right? Hmm. Let's see. Let's get some night vision out. Let's see what's cracking. Oh, you know what we forgot, everyone? Oh, I knew we forgot something. A loot box, right? A, an empty shulker box to put all the loot in? All of these are... Shulker boxes we use for stuff. Oh, that's so annoying. I guess we could use the Joel Juice Shulker box for uh, for stuff. I mean, there's hardly any Joel Juice left, so we'll, we'll, you know. We'll use this for stuff. Diamonds, apples, rooted dirt. The rest of the stuff will just burn at some point. We don't want it all. 
Okay, let's sip on a potion. Did I sip on the potion already? I did. Okay. Let's get back out there. Our helmet's got uh, respiration three on it, so not too worried about about drowning at all. Oh, this is so much easier. And now we can see all the goodies in the walls, like the, this beautiful redstone block too. I actually am uh, completely out of redstone, by the way. I've used it all in our next project, in our, um, our, sh our sugarcane farm that we're going to make, so legitimately need more redstone. So we're out here getting the redstone and the diamonds. Uh-oh. Yo, Levi, you forgot a loot box as well? Oh, no, you hate to see all the... <laughs> all the peeps messing up the caving situation tonight, friends. Oh, it's a tragedy. We're all in the same box. Well, this little ocean is not as big as we thought it was, right? Although it does seem to extend here, which is where we began our little adventure. Okay. Well, at least we got a lay of the land now. There's ocean in that direction. What if we go in this direction and switch it up? Let's go this way. Wow, night vision just changes everything, right? Like, everything is just super bright. We got to worry about creepers now, though. Also, I want to find a big network and then set up a, a respawn point. Because, I mean, I suppose we have the coordinates. But setting up a, res a respawn point is just so much smarter, right? Also, strangely enough, we do need some cobble deep slate. This is, I'm, I'm not making cobble deep slate right now, though. Oh, I'm in. I'm a fool. Hold on. Wrong pickaxe, everybody. We need fortune to make a cobbled, cobbled deep slate. This is just the standard ugly deep slate variety. The smooth deep slate is kind of ugly, in my opinion. I don't like it very much. Cobbled deep slate, though. Legit one of my favorite blocks in the game. I think it's very, very pretty. Angel, you basically live out of an ender chest. Yeah, you, you've adapted the etho life, have you? Bear says, I don't like night vision because then I never torch it up and the caves behind me get flooded with mobs. That's the exact reason I don't like night vision either. Which is why I generally torch. Even if I'm night visioning, I also torch. Which is kind of, um, I guess it, oh, no. Using the wrong pickaxe here. I guess it's kind of like uh, counterintuitive, but my thinking is the night vision lets you see the diamonds and the redstone and everything a little bit easier in the walls. But interestingly, the darkness is what prompts you to uh, to set torches, right? And when you take the darkness away, you have to remind your brain that there actually is darkness. And after an extended session of caving, you know, you just kind of forget. Although, it does feel like... Uh, can you guys feel the darkness? Hold on, look. With night vision, can you guys see this on on the stream? I don't know if the, um, if the bitrate's good enough, but... With night vision, there's kind of like a blue tint. Look at this. It changes it to like a, an orange tint. Do you guys see this? Hmm. We didn't pick up the ender chest. That's okay. That's why I made a stack of them. <laughs> We're going to leave ender chests everywhere. It's gonna, it'll be fine. Okay, so we kind of do have a cheaty way to tell us whether the area is lit or not. We just look at the color. The night vision kind of changes, which is interesting. We are at diamond level, right? I'm assuming. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make Silk Touch the uh, the default tool for us so that we don't keep making redstone dust. Kind of annoying. That is kind of weird. It might be like shader related or something. I don't know. It might be mini HUD related. Who knows? We, you know, we got a couple mods going, so... Well, it's not diamond level, but it is redstone level. I want to, I mean, I'm happy to leave this caving sesh with like a couple stacks of redstone uh, ore. That would be pretty good. I'd be very happy with, oh, you know what we forgot, everybody? We forgot a stinking bucket. We forgot a bucket. Diamonds? Wait, where? 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 Oh, you guys have such great eyes. I'm, I'm so old. I can't. I cut my eyes don't work anymore, everyone. Where are the diamonds? 
Wait, panic. Spore blossoms. Oh, we we got it. We need the spore blossoms too. I want the spore blossoms. I love the spore blossoms. They're so good. Wait, where are the diamonds, guys? Wait, one thing at a time. Spore blo <laughs> The priorities, of course. Spore blossoms first. <laughs> okay. Spore blossoms acquired. Go down. It's just mess everywhere. We were digging here. This is the last place that I was digging. Oh! Is it behind the gravel? To the right when we were going down the hill. Over here? Oh, we walked straight. I walked straight past it again. Okay, hold on. Guys, my eyes. Why are they not working? There's a skeleton. Wait, one second. One second. Okay. I don't even know where we came from now. There's a creeper down there. Wait, did we come from here? From this direction? Is this where we came from? Wow. This cave is so huge. It's so cool. I can't see them, guys. Go back to the gravel you mined and go right, but don't go down to the lava. Okay. I'm just, I'm following instru instructions here, chat. So we go to the gravel that we mined, but we don't follow the lava. We don't go down to the lava. So is it here? Uh-oh. We're out of night juice. It was the skinny tunnel. Oh, wait. So we come out of here, we go right. Oh, in here. Diamonds! Guys, I found diamonds. Hey, everybody, look. I found diamonds. We found our first diamonds. Wait a second. How did I walk... How did I walk straight past this? I am... You know what? I'm going to blame this on uh, on Gongan. And on Jeska. And on Nuno the Kitters. And on Fufalicious. And on Sleepy Karras. And on Viriv. And on Star. And on everybody who sub-bombed us tonight, almost 400 subscribers were gifted tonight, guys. It's all your, it's all your fault. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's not my fault, friends. I, I have nothing to do with this. I refuse to take the blame for my own actions. Or should I say my own, but legitimately ran straight past it. I legitimately ran, just ran straight past it. That is, Wow. <laughs> That's, yeah, slightly concerning, actually. Was, you know. Should I have my eyes tested or something? Perhaps? It's mildly concerning that I, I legitimately just ran straight past a diamond in the middle of the, um, I mean, it was in the open. Let's be real. It's, you know, let's not sugarcoat this. It was literally in the middle of the path. And no, I have not had any of Gigi's whiskey this evening, okay? I've just had tea. Hey, Cherry Pie, nice to see you. How you doing? I am seven years old. That is true. That is true. Don't you guys know that seven-year-old's eyes don't work very well at the best of times, okay? Um, Do we have a bucket? We do. We've got a bucket in here, but we're going to need to find some water. That's the one thing that we did forget for this adventure was bucket action. But it's fine. We're back on track. There's also water everywhere, right? Or there was water everywhere. We have to backtrack a little bit, I think. Ow! Oh, jeez. 
gentleman button, sir. Please. Here's some money for no test. Take care of your eyes. Seriously, less than three arousal. Free Felicious! You hit me with the TTS right in the middle of a creeper slash skeleton attack, baby. One second. Let me deal with the nonsense real quick. Okay. Oh. Right. <laughs> Foofs, what's up? Oh my goodness. Another a, a incredibly generous tip here from Foofalicious. 50 pounds. Thank you very much, Foofs. Benjamin Button, sir, please. Here's some money for any um, for an eye test. Take care of your eyes. Seriously, hearty face. Love you. All right, Free Felicious, I promise I'll use that for an eye test. I mean, I haven't had an, an eye test in a while. The last time I had an eye test, I think, was, bef uh, was when I left London. I um, I decided to get a full a full checkup, you know, make sure that all the bits and bobs were in, in working order, including the eyeballs. Oh, my good Lord. One second. <laughs> Speaking of eyeballs. Oh my. Okay. Still need to find water. Okay. Every everything's fine, everyone. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's just fine. This is the problem with night vision, right? Right here. This is showcasing the, the problem with night vision. You just spawned so many mobs. Uh, eyes. Yes. So, before I left London, I don't know when this was now. Maybe six years ago or seven, seven, eight years ago, something like that. I had all the bits and bobs checked. Here's the thing, though. I, I kind of wanted glasses, you know. Because in my early... In my earlier days, um, in my university days, I'm like mildly ashamed to admit this, but in my uni in, in my university days, I may or may not have um, worn glasses with um, with no magnification lenses, just um, just clear glasses. Tree Winter, thank you for the 15 months, by the way. Appreciate you. Look, I'm just saying, you know, I, I went to a boarding school, people, okay? When I got to university, I didn't know much about the ladies. I didn't, hadn't had a girlfriend before, you know? Didn't know how to deal with the ladies. Hadn't really ever dealt with any ladies, if you know what I'm saying. I needed a bit of help. I needed to look cool for the girls okay so and, and let me tell you ladies they look fine on oh, their end digging a dog i look fine as hell in those glasses damn but um i did get caught out once though with the glasses because i was like at the bar talking to uh to a girl and she wanted to try the glasses on and I was like, nah, 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 nah. You know, I need them. I need. I. I, I can't take the glasses off. You know, because I was. I was about to be exposed, right? And um, she just took them off my face and put them on, and she was like, dude, these glasses. These glasses broken. These not. These not even glasses. <laughs> so my. <laughs> uh, I had to stop. I had to stop wearing them after that. The, the shame was just too much, you know? The shame of being exposed. Anyway, so went for an eye check before I, I left London a few years ago. Turns out I had 20-20 vision, so, you know. Let me just say, if at some point in my life I got to wear glasses, I won't be mad, you know? It'll be great. I think glasses look great on people, personally. kind of like glasses. Uh, wait. Got to do something about this. Oh, I hear the sounds of the babies everywhere. I want this redstone. 
Yo, uh, GOA for all, thank you for the 200 biddies. Two purple glasses. <laughs> thank you, GOA. I mean, you know, I've like legitimately thought about, I was talking to False about this the other day, actually. I, uh, I suggested that I try find a pair of, of blue rimmed glasses, right? Like my character. Well, like my original skin. Those could be pretty sweet, right? Like maybe if we ever get, if we ever do webcamming again, we we uh, we find the like actual IRL Rendog blue frame glasses for the streams, and then on stream I can uh, wear the glasses and it'll make me feel like I'm someone else, and I don't have to be so embarrassed to, to be on camera. You know what I mean? It'll be like putting on a costume for a play, you know. Well, nothing in these cave systems at all. You hate to see it. CV says, I've worn glasses full time since I was about 15. So you know, Steve's glasses are sweet. I'm sure you got a pair of glasses that look great on you also. Especially if like uh, you have to wear glasses um, all the time. Eventually you find like a frame that really, that really suits. Diamonds! Sweet. Wait, I missed more diamonds in here? Where? Or is that the diamond that you guys are shouting at me about? Did I miss diamonds in here? Ooh. Thank you. Yoink. Spore blossom, redstone, tree. We did miss a little bit here. Let's get some redstone. Noise. I missed. Okay. Let's see. I guess the glow berries do light the place up, but they also legitimately hide diamonds, don't they? Where is it, guys? I see the spore blossom. This is where we came from, right? This is where all the hubbub was. <gasps> Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not jump over lava just willy-nilly. This is where we came from. So what have I missed? Spawner? Where? At the dead end I was just at? Really? In here? Oh no, the other dead end. I think I know which one you're talking about. There's a dead end here too, right? Reading chat and diamond hunting generally doesn't go hand in hand. I walked straight past them. Unbelievable. That was a six stack too. Nice. Can't believe it, guys. Unbelievable. And my eyes are so bad. Had an animations here with some biddies. Early weekend biddies. Looking forward to your next wildlife episode and, and as a glasses wearer I'm sure I'm sure you'd rock them. Feverlicious here with some uh some tip action. Even if it was 2020 before your eyes deteriorate as you get older. I'm half blind I can promise you that eye care is important and more so because you do screen work. You can also get tints on your lenses. Mine's darker for light sensitivity. Nice. Thanks for the info peeps and the tip. Oh, well, there is a spawner here. Oh, okay. One sec. <laughs> I mean, how did I not spot that? Literally, cobblestone in deep slate. Guys, I don't know what's happening with my... I mean, I am all over the place tonight with actual Minecraft stuff. You know what it is? I mean, life is super busy right now, guys. Like, we're doing wildlife, we're doing rats, we're doing MCC, we're doing Hermitcraft. I'm doing all the things at the same time. My life right now is literally sleep, eat, work, eat, exercise, work, eat, work, sleep, and then a shower uh, at some point, at some point. <laughs> I think my brain is just like, it's just mush. I will tell you though, I'm loving it. I'm having such a great time. I'm in like a really pleasant flow state right now, you know? I know that's kind of like a jargony word, but flow state is basically like when you're, when you're working or doing a task and you just, you're really focused on it and you're enjoying it. And it's all you really want to do, you know? Flow state is a really great state to achieve when it comes to things like work or 
some sort of hobby or whatever. What's in here? Anything? I mean, I guess we take the, the saddle. Not excited about it, but we'll take it. Uh, in here? Music discs? I mean, I don't care about the music discs or any of this, in fact. Okay. Well, you can't win in every, every, every uh, cave, can you? We need more torches. All right, we're going to start tapping into our... Um, our supply here. Make a bunch of these. I'm kind of enjoying not using the night vision, gotta be honest. You know? Like, the night vision has been, uh... A little bit on the sketch side. Let's keep the diamonds in the hot bar and we can track how many we are slowly accumulating. That'll be pretty sweet. Also, why do I still have rockets in the inventory? This inventory is a disaster, as always in this game. No space for anything, as per usual. We haven't even, like, rested yet. We haven't set up a... a respawn point. We're missing diamonds, we're missing everything. I don't know. I, bl I blame you guys for all the crazy support tonight. And especially GG. GG melted my brain today. Okay, we were heading in this direction. Here we go. Now, let's torch the place up first, and then we'll deal with this lava situation. We also need blocks to deal with the lava situation. Lava, will you please stop lavering, dude? Don't you know people hate it when you lava? Just stop lavering. And people will love you. I mean, come on. It's good advice for lava anywhere. <laughs> if you have lava as a, one, a loved one, please pass this message on. Stop lavering, dude. Don't you know people hate it when you lava? Yo, is there a verb for lavering? <laughs> for lava? Well, I guess the real question is, does lava... Lava. Do you know? Listen, guys, I found these diamonds. You didn't find these ones. I was the I called these before you did, so please. Please. I found these ones before you guys. The lava does indeed lava. I guess I guess lava flows, right? That's what lava does. All right, we're at minus 48. I'm thinking maybe this dungeon might lead off to another cave network. Let's have a, let's have a squiz. It leads into another gravel patch, which is generally quite an easy way to make some decent progress through these caves. Also a great way to expose diamonds. And it looks like we might be busting into something here. Weird. This is weird. What is this? Just like a standalone patch of clay? What? I I don't think I've ever seen this. Wait, is this normal, guys? Like, just... Big batches of clay? In... In, uh, in, in... This layer? That is kind of weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It is in the lush caves. Okay, it's a lush cave thing. Okay. Interesting. I mean, we're learning a lot about the game tonight, friends. Things that we should probably know, being professional Minecrafters and all, but, you know. Tis what it is. I leave behind all of this rubbish that I do not want, thank you. And slowly the collection of junk accumulates in the inventory. Oh, I suppose we were trying to find another cave network through here, but I... Oh, God, I'm going to run into all the junk again. Let's go this way. Try to remember to uh, collect the cobbled... Sto the stone variety. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like I've been hitting some of... Uh, I've hit at least half a bottle of GG's whiskey this evening. I've just got to collect the cobblestone variety. 
Oh, man. What's in this tea, everyone? Goodness. Okay, let's go down to level 60. See what's cranking down there. I hear a zombert. Oh, you know what we can do also? Accessibility. Let us turn on uh, subtitles too. This, this can help reveal some dangers below. It lets us know when mobs are moving. Or more importantly, when there's lava about. And there's lava lava lavering. In Minecraft, the verb for lavering is pop. Popping. Lava pops in this game. Apparently. Item plops. Oh, or wait, does items plop and lava pops? Is that right? Down into the depths we go, using the wrong pickaxe again. And I guess when we get down to the bottom, we'll do a little bit of stripperation. Ah! Bedrock, my old friend! Great to see you. Let's just strip in this direction. Try busting into a big cave. I want to find one of those big caves. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like those huge caves where you can legitimately elytra around. That's where you find like a ton of diamonds in the walls and stuff. Is this too uh, too deep though to find those caves, I wonder? Hmm. JJ, did you, did you put something in my tea? Perhaps some, uh, some Kahlua? Wait, Kahlua and tea would be terrible, right? You can't be putting coffee liqueur in tea. Not coffee liqueur in coffee. Now we're cooking, babies. Mmm. I mean, I, I don't, um, I don't consume alcohol, but... If I were to consume alcohol, I would ask for a white Russian. Which is my favorite drink, inspired by the big Lebowski. The dude abides. Listen, the dude has immaculate taste in both rugs and beverages. I got a beverage here, man. <laughs> and a white Russian is indeed a, a lovely drink. It's basically uh, vodka, Kahlua, and milk. With ice. Glorious. A glorious beverage indeed. Wait, green bean pancake first time chatter. You put coffee in my tea. That actually does explain the mild buzz I'm feeling right now. Hmm. It really did tie the room together, Attic. They peed on his rug, people. They peed on his rug. Outrageous. Ha! Ah! Okay. So that's a... <laughs> That's that's a, a no go down that down that path. Let's go this way. So guys, um, final cut of wildlife. Next wildlife episode is done. And um, let me tell you something. This week's sesh was unlike any sesh that I've ever been a part of or been a part in. I mean, granted, I've not been in uh, many of the life series. I think only... Uh, is this my third? Or fourth? I don't know. I don't know. But definitely the most insane sesh I think that I've ever been a part of. It was... I mean, unforgettable. <laughs> it was really, really awesome. Looking forward to you guys seeing that. It's uh, all coming out tomorrow. At various times on the YouTube, so... Keep your eyeballs open. I guess we don't need to night vision when uh, stripping, right? We can just... Uh, hello, Mr. Lava. Does this extend? It does. There's just lava everywhere. Oh, it's the fifth if we count real life. I mean, is real life canon? I don't know. I guess real life is canon, right? We weren't, like, really following any rules and things. It was just, like, a, a, a VR thing. It made me feel super sick, by the way, in real life. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, when I first uh, 
I'd never really used VR before until that video that we made. I had used like a uh, one of the original Oculus Rifts once many years ago when I was in Germany. And it was still in its sort of like alpha stages, but it was super cool. I, I played a, a game called Paint where you could like 3D paint, which was really sweet. But I gotta say, like as somebody that suffers from VR, and I think this is one of the reasons VR will never be as big as like uh, console gaming or PC gaming. I think that a, a huge portion of um, society struggles with motion sickness. And basically, I don't think it's going to be possible to to make VR that doesn't make people feel ill, those that suffer from, from motion sickness. Because within 10 minutes, I'm I'm a mess. You know, I, I, and, for, and I, I really hate the fact that I have motion sickness. I want to go on awesome roller coasters and do cool stuff that involves like motion you know i want to like like for example one of the, the things that i can't do that i really wish that i could is go-karting i can go-kart for i can do maybe like 20 laps and then and then um i like i literally i legitimately have to have to vom <laughs> if you excuse my uh, my foul language and it's so annoying because i love go-karting so much it's so awesome i just want to go-kart like do the full race but i can't do it I just get sick and I, I just I don't see a solution for um, for VR in this way yeah like people get people feel nauseous from playing Minecraft without VR right <laughs> so you know you put VR you put VR into the equation it's also kind of weird because it's um what is it called integrated integrated vr or whatever so with the meta quest which is what i used right the headset that i used you um it it like augments the reality yeah someone says ar is better than vr i mean look the ar is kind of cool because it makes you feel like you're in a movie because uh you can pull up menus in front of your face right like um virtual me uh, uh, <gasps> diamonds virtual menu so imagine like pulling this menu up here but it's just floating in front of you right and you can like grab it and and move it and put it on the desk you can like move this menu around with your hand it's super cool here's the problem though there's a couple of problems rebecca good night and thank you for hanging out hope to see you in the next stream baby have a good sleep sleep tight here's the problem with ar right you're looking at a screen inside of the um the headset that is mimicking your environment around you there's cameras like all over the uh the unit and it is basically streaming reality onto the screens that you're looking at right but there's two problems number one the cameras are kind of like low on the meta quest anyway the cameras are kind of low res and number two the screens are not like fully in uh are not fully HD. They, you can tell that you're looking at a screen that's kind of bent around your eyeballs. You can also sort of see the borders of the screen in your peripherals. So you're basically looking at like a a low res version of reality through the VR headset, right? Also, dudes, can we please hit hit a cave network, please? Ah. My wish is Minecraft's command. You love to see it. Um, so yeah, you're kind of like watching a bad version of reality is how I would describe it. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just it's just a bad version of real life. And yeah, I don't know, like I don't know if it's that cool, you know. I think it's I think it's uh, <laughs> I don't think it's very cool because it just it doesn't look great like reality is so much better <laughs> you know what i mean like the graphics of reality are just it's like the graphics of reality are like a, a gtx 1050 and th the graphics of reality through the meta quest is like a an 820 gtx you know so yeah i don't know 
there's obviously going to be insane um, progression in VR and AR. And I'm looking forward to it all, you know. But for me at the moment, it just ain't it. It ain't it, Chief. Not yet. Not yet. Still a little bit of work needs to be done. But I'm sure when eventually we get there to the technology being absolutely insane, it's, yeah, it's going to be wild. Right. Nothing in this cave network, unfortunately. Let's just hack up some of this uh, gravel. See if we unearth any diamonds. I wish we'd brought more loot chests because we could have yoinked up all of this gravel. We've got 14 deep slate diamond ores so far. That's it. That is mildly depressing. Also, this, uh, this inventory is absolutely ram stacked let's fill the joel juice box with stuff all the deep slate can go in here right can we stack anything in here no okay that's fine oh the diamond can go somewhere yeah the diamond can go somewhere nice okay cool Max inventory slots, please. Oh, diamonds! Guys, I found diamonds. Hey, everybody, I found diamonds. <laughs> Why am I so bad at caving? What's wrong with me? Alex says, uh, real experience VR slash AR is less unsettling like MetaQuest, where you are in a large space with physical props like doors, chairs, etc., that line up with the visuals yeah i agree it's just that they're in such low resolution you know it just doesn't look great to me is it a one stack oh my god oh that's depressing that wasn't even worth the hubbub that i made for it friends you hate to see it wait i want to track the diamonds i'm an idiot wait where did i put the other diamonds Wait. Guys? Oh, they're in here. Okay. <laughs> Stream of blindness kicking in. We got 15 in total. Hoping for very many more. These kind of windy, cavey things generally break into other windy, cavey things. So let's just make sure we check the ends of the tunnels because I find sometimes you can get lucky check up down left right sometimes there's ones that are right next to it but not in this case yo jack b gaming what's up dude we're chilling man we're uh, having a, a chilled out cozy friday caving session talking about vr Might be a bit too low for diamonds. I mean, aren't diamonds supposed to be uh, concentrated near the bottom? Maybe we're too low for the cave networks. That might be the issue. Let's go up to like level 40 and strip at level 40, I think. Yeah, peak diamond level is 58. True. True. I don't want to strip mine though, you know, it's boring. I want to flap around in caves and stuff. Okay. Water flows to the left. Water flows to the left. Okay, hold on. I saw some water dripping here. Plus there's some redstone, which we shall definitely yoink. Water up here. Okay, let's swim up there, see what's up. Let's see what's up here. Aha! Fresh little thing. No diamonds, though. But a nice fresh little cave system. Keep your eyeballs open for the shiny blue rocks, everybody. These are all brand new chunks that we've loaded here, too. So these caves have definitely not been explored by hermits. This kind of brings us back up into that massive lush cave biome that we were in earlier. Interesting. Okay. Let's yoink the redstone. 
I don't know how much redstone is enough redstone, but we'll take what we're diamonds, what we can get. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's another one stack. So depressing. Why you do us dirty like this, Minecraft? Jeez. Whew. Man, that scared the living heck out of me. Some more biddies here from Hallowed Animations. It's getting late. It's bedtime for me. Dropping some good diamond luck biddies. Have a great rest of the night and stream. Good night. Hello, thank you very much for the support. As always, baby, sleep tight. See you next time. Sometimes there's diamond under moss. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we could just hack, like, there's so much moss also, right? But I don't know. I, I, I can't be bothered to hack up all the moss. That seems like quite a lot of work. Is this where we came from? This is starting to get into, like, bigger cave territory, though. This is what I was looking for. These kind of larger cave systems. Let's let's explore. See what oh, there we go. Sweet. See, this is where night vision comes clutch, comes in clutch, right? Like it lets you see the diamonds in the walls nice and clearly. I mean I say that and I've literally missed every single patch so far, but that one was right in my eyeballs visions. Could make it oh we I mean we've got a netherite hoe in the in the ender chest. We could use that. I don't know, it's just you know. Seems like an unnecessary uh, use of time. I mean, there is a lot of covered blockage here under the moss. True. I'll think about it. DJ guy here with a question. When a new life series pops up, how do you come up with the ideas you want to do? Like in Third Life, you did Red Winter in Last Life, the Shadow Alliance as someone who plays many life series with friends. Uh, it, it literally just comes to me in the in the moment or at least all of the the um the rp stuff that i've done with martin like we'll just be riffing and then something will just come up like sometimes something doesn't come up you know and that's also fine right like when it comes to um when it comes to rp i think forcing it is the worst thing that you can do I think forced RP like feels forced and when it feels forced it it goes from being RP to being cringe. There's a very very fine line in entertainment between role playing and cringe. And uh, you don't want to be on the cringe side of the line. And I think that uh, yeah forcing forcing RP is a is a, a great one way ticket to cringe. So generally I like to just let it happen naturally, you know. If Martin and I stumble across like something um, something that works, like some sort of RP that works, then we will lean into it. And generally speaking, Martin and I are on the same wavelength with uh, with that sort of thing, so we can we can easily tell immediately, like, oh, we're onto something here. We don't even have to say it, right, to each other. We just you just pick it up in 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 the tone and in the delivery, and then you run with it. And uh, and yeah, like sometimes, I mean, sometimes. You know, the, the trouble is that you, you also have to balance the expectations of the audience, right? Because the, if the audience enjoyed some RP that you did, they just want more of it, right? But the audience doesn't realize how difficult it is to actually um, do RP and do RP well, you know? When, when RP is done well, it feels like it was scripted, right? But, for, but that, that only happens very infrequently. You know, like that that's that's like a little little lightning. Diamonds. A little uh, lightning strike that happens. And it definitely happens it definitely doesn't happen more than it happens. Diamonds. And uh, and you and you you know you don't want to force it. So yeah. Uh, ooh, there's more down there too. So my advice would be um to to just let you know just play with your friends and be in like a role-playing mood so that so what i mean by that is like everybody is everybody uh is like everybody knows okay we're gonna try come up with um everybody knows that everybody like that there is an air of rp in the air and then it, if you stumble across something you'll run with it right so you basically all agree that look if we if we come up with some cool like rp storyline let's all get into character and run with it and then just like riff you know just 
just say what you see i think is a is a good bit of advice right so like for example if you if there's a moment where um you and your friend are like swashbuckling a skeleton and you suddenly feel all piratey then just let out an hour <laughs> take that you skeleton swine and if your friend riffs back you know you're onto something and then you can riff a little bit see where it goes if it ends up you being a pair of pirates then then awesome if it doesn't then you know you move on and do the next thing it's certainly uh it, it's very it's very uh, difficult though for sure it's a very difficult thing to uh to do well and not only to do well but to do consistently you know you're only good as your your last rp too right <laughs> So you got to make sure that if you are going to do something, you do it, you do it as, uh, you do a good job. Hold on. Speaking of RP. Oh. Okay, well, this is a nice, juicy, large little cave network that we're cooking in over here, friends. I wanted to go downward, though. I can't remember how we got to this spot, though. I think it might have been up here, actually. Katie Fran with a 52 month OG resub. Welcome back, baby. Finally able to catch a live stream. Nice to see you, Katie. Always a joy to see you in my streams, and I hope you're doing good. DJ Guy says In the series I played, I started with a gambling mindset because I, I, it had lives you would give like in Last Life. I was considering a villain because I started a raid and killed someone. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's that sounds like a really good fit. So I guess next step is defining the villain, right? What kind of villain is this? Is it a is it a cheeky villain? Is it a sneaky villain? Is it a shouty villain? Is it a quiet villain that stabs you in the back? You know, whichever of these traits suits your personality best is what I would recommend going with. Diamonds. I can't believe these one patches, though, guys. This is just absolutely unreal. That creeper blinked at me before it perished. Now we're cooking. Yes, finally. Minecraft delivering the goods. This is what we've been waiting for all night. The lovely, large, massive cave area. Let's just make sure this is diamonds. <laughs> you guys didn't see these ones. I'm claiming these for myself. You guys saw nothing. Sweet. Okay, let's have a look. Arrow in the wall. Bad sign. This place is... Very cool, actually. Right. Let's do some speed lighting. Let's light this whole place up. There's a bunch of redstone in this little basin thing whoops whoops okay what was that <laughs> what just splattered to its death was that a fish what the heck okay now this seems like a good spot for a bed am i right this is a good spot for a bed Let's set a little respawn point here, because things are falling from above. And, I don't know, something's tingling in my brain. This feels like imminent death. <laughs> that was a, a tropical fish that, fish that just splattered ass. Damn. Rip. Let's get the redstone. How we looking? Ooh. Through all of this cozy chatting, guys, we have managed to accumulate 32 diamond ore and i guess like half a stack of diamonds from using fortune so pretty good it's like a little amphitheater yeah that's true that is true um i guess like in our little chill zone here we can stick an ender chest we need more potion action oh we've sipped all of the um can I make a bin? I'm going to make a bin. 
gonna be down there. Oh, that's not gonna work. Here's the bin. Um, I just want to bin pretty much everything. Just need some blocks to build. Oh, let's use this opportunity while the lights are out too, while the night vision is faded to make sure this place is lit up. Ah, it's kind of cozy in here when the night vision goes though, right? Look at this. Ah, it's so cool. Almost makes you want to make a base here, you know? It's really nice. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Focus here, Rain. Jeez. Um, actually, I think everything's fine. You know what? Don't really need rockets right now. Why do I have rockets in the inventory? I, I want more space on the hotbar to do stuff. I do want to start enderpearling more too. Plus, did we not bring enough... Okay, hold on. Let's just sort the food situation out. I did forget to go buy food. Although, to be fair, for those of you guys who missed the start of the stream, the incredible viewers and supporters of my work dropped almost 400 subscribers on the channel tonight. We started the stream at 111 subscribers. We were at 1,390. Needless to say, my brain was mushificated, as Tango might say. So, you know, I don't, I'm not going to take the blame. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I refuse to take the blame. <laughs> right, let's get some more night vision going here. Into the depths we go. Any more diamonds that we have spot um, uh, that we have missed, maybe in the walls? Negative. Diamonds. Another one stack. Is somebody counting the one stacks? By the way, I think that might be like the seventh one stack. You hate to see it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. This is exactly what I wanted to find. This is business time right here, friends. Let's mark out with torches. This is the way back to the spawn zone in case we die. Can already spot a diamond there. And from up here, we can just snipe. Get rid of the, the mobs. Skellington, please, bud. Dodgeball champion, you know what I mean? Okay, at some point we are going to have to start torching the place up, though. I'm thinking maybe with some flight situation. Oh, wait, this isn't going to work, is it? Okay. I guess Ger Geronimo? Geronimo! Oh, there's more. Oh, no. Oh, this is this goes through to our cave. Okay, never mind. There's another easier entrance into it. Right. Let's get Leiden. There's another diamond there. Oh my goodness. Yep. There's going to have to be some very serious mob clearing happening here. I feel like we're playing WoW right now, right? We're playing Wizard and we're like AoE farming. <laughs> we're just gathering all the mobs in one spot and then uh, I, I, what, do, uh, what do we do? Blizzard them, I guess? Meteor shower. Is that one of the spells? missed me get your eyes checked bro right let's just do some lighting i don't mind uh, don't mind if mobs do a little bit of spawning you know it's fine just some general lighting though to make life a little bit easier okay get the bow out it's snipe time bro Right, let's deal with these fools. Ladies get in line. Dodgeball champion right here, ladies. You you watching? Yo, ladies, you watching? Uh-huh. What a fine specimen of a man right here, babies. Mm. Damn. Video game annihilation. Is there anything more 
attractive to uh to a fine lady. <clears throat> <laughs> Get out of here, skeletons. Okay. The threat has been cleared, everyone. Panic not. We can now enjoy the harvesting of the diamond situation. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Right. Another batch of the undead removed from the planet. Oh, that's actually a good question. Are creepers undead? Is there any... Wait. Does anybody know if there is, like, deep lore about the Creeper? Did Notch ever write, like, deep lore about the Creeper? Like, its origins? I mean, wait, here's a question. Do Creepers have mums? They're not hurt by smite? That's actually a really good little uh, hint as to their deep lore, right? If a Creeper is not hurt by, sp by smite... That means it is not undead, because smite deals extra damage to undead, right? Specifically. That's really clever. What is... What the... What the heck? Dudes, look at this! There was a skeleton, a dragon skeleton down. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, is this one of those special structures? I've never found one of these before. Pickle says video gaming is at the top of my must-haves list for the next guy I meet. Yo, Pickles, what's happening, baby? What's happening? <laughs> wow, I've never found one of these before. Are these, like, super rare? Is this jackpot time, dudes? Is this, like, legit jackpot? I think we may have... I think we may have just hit the diamond jackpot, guys. This is insane. I have never found one of these before. Really rare. So saith the chat. I mean, how many ores do we get out of this? Oh, this is insane. This is so exciting. I've never found one of these before. I've... Two hours of caving? Definitely worth it. Look at this. Destroying the super rare thing. Well, you know. I'm here for the diamonds. <laughs> I'm here for the diamonds. We are in a desert biome right now. Maybe should have preserved it, though. Is it... Wait, guys. Did I just break, like, one of the... The rarest things in the game? Oh, no. Oh, no. What have I done? Pixel Riffs is watching. If Pixel Riffs is watching, he currently... he's. If Pixel Riffs is watching, he currently is cursing you? Oh, no. Oh, no! <laughs> what have I done? I broke one of the rarest things in the game. I mean, I did get, like, you know, 15 stacks of ore out of it, so... Sorry, Pixel Riffs! I, I needed the diamonds, okay? Oh, that was super cool. That was awesome. I was wondering why there was, like, a, a bit of bone there, you know? I was like, wait, has somebody been here before? That was awesome, though. What a lovely find. Okay, did we yoink all the diamonds? I know there's another one around here somewhere, right? Um, here. Oh, this is another juicy patch. Dudes, are we gonna... Are we gonna hit 64 diamond ore for our cozy Friday caving sesh? Maybe we should just do this every Friday. Because, I mean, look, I, you know, I'm not a man that likes to complain, you know? I'm just saying, sales have dried up for the rain digger to dog. I no longer generate any profits whatsoever. I haven't had a beacon sale in like two months. Nobody has ever bought diorite. Nobody has ever bought granite. Falsy has a <laughs> pity bought a shirt or two. Cleo has pity bought a shirt or two. B-Dubs bought a shirt legitimately for his shop, which I appreciate. But the shirt shop, which took us like ages to make and to collect all the shirts, legitimately has made us zip. 
nada. So, and dudes, oh, Etho bought some too. That's true. Etho did buy a couple of shirts too. So shout out to Etho for some shared purchases. Anyway, point is, I have a lot of big builds to make. I need, for our next build, I need 5,000 gray concrete. And I would like to buy the concrete. I also need a whole bunch of other stuff that I would like to buy from the shopping district, but my diamonds are not churning, so I cannot uh, spend the diamonds that I make in my shops. So we have to get the diamonds the hard way, friends. Diamonds in the ceiling? Wait, what? Did I miss diamonds in the ceiling? Where? Where, guys? You know what I was thinking, though, guys? Check this out, right? What if we get into the rocket business? What if... I mean, Etho's obviously going to make, make some serious bank. Oh, there! Oh, you guys are so smart. That's a huge batch up there, too. Nice. Ito's going to make bank on those rockets for sure. But I did notice that uh, he he pushed the prices up a little bit in his episode. Right? I think, like, I think the prices of the rocket boxes... Oh, wait, did he push them down? No, I think he, he lowered the price by three, I think, right? I think a, a box of rockets and Ito's shady, shady E rockets is uh, 22 diamonds, I believe. Any other diamonds that I've missed? So what? We're about to make like a like a rocket factory in the Gigacore base. What if we come in hot with a with twenty diamonds for a shulker box of rockets? You know what I'm saying? We set up a little little rocket shop. I was thinking about doing like doing it old school. Like, you know, like every Hermacraft rocket shop is just a, just rockets. It's just a rocket, right? Like a firework rocket. <laughs> what about the permits? The permits be damned. I suppose we can't, we have to follow the rules, don't we? Oh, man. See, this is, this is the problem when you're a, a chaotic neutral character, right? You, you're not allowed to break the rules. Or I guess... I guess I would... I, I'm, Randog is probably more chaotic uh, lawful than chaotic neutral, but... Wait, quick question for the D&D the &D players. Can, can neutral characters break rules? Hmm. Interesting. I guess they can, right? Because they're, they're neither lawful nor evil, so they can just choose... Oh, chaotic characters can break rules? Wait. A chaotic lawful can't break rules though, right? And I uh, I don't mean can't. I mean, uh, you know, t uh, typically does not. They do what feels right to them in the moment. That makes... Yeah, that that's a, a good definition for, for it, I think. Right, let's strip a little bit more in this direction. Oh, did we miss anything in the original cave? Hold on. Ow. Usually chaotic and lawful aren't on the same sort of thing. Oh yeah, that, I guess that, that's a contradiction in terms, right? I guess I use the word chaotic. I'm, I'm probably using the wrong term for uh, defining chaotic. My understanding of uh, Dungeons & Dragons like character creation and whatnot is re relatively limited. Usually have to do like if I if I'm going to play in a new campaign or whatever, I need to do a little bit of studying on all of the different attributes and whatnot. You know, <laughs> chaotic says stop saying my name. <laughs> Yo, chaotic, are you chilling? And every time you hear me say chaotic, you're like, ah, oh, you get all you get all freaked out. <laughs> Sorry, bro. In D and D, law, chaos and law are opposite forces, like good and evil. Okay, well that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, they're definitely not compatible then, for sure. In fact, in D&D, in raw D&D, is it even possible to be um, lawful chaotic? Like, just just by the, the rules? 
Oh, D&D is moving away from... Wait. D&D is moving away from lawful and chaotic alignment charts? What? But that's that's what makes D&D so awesome, though. I mean, if that is truly the case, I, I'm, I'm like, I'll just play old school d and I, I won't play D&D without that. That sounds like they're trying to dumb the, dumb the game down. Are they, are they like, wait, is Wizards like trying to make D&D Pokemon or something? Why are they dumbing the game down? Why are they taking out the cool, like really awesome diplomatic stuff out of the game? I, oh, this makes me angry. Yes, they are. Yo, Monate, that's... Mm. Okay, that makes me really cross. I, I don't even want to look into it. That's going to make me really upset. <laughs> Wizards ruining yet another amazing thing. Started with magic, now now D&D. &D. Get your paws off the good stuff, Wizards. What is wrong with you? Let us nerds at least have something that we love in this world. Stop breaking it. Stop breaking everything. <sighs> anyway. They want people to be less limited by the rules? Hello, giant lava lake thing. Sweet. Kind of scary, though. Any diamonds, though? Lava lake cool? Diamonds... Nowhere to be seen. This is probably a decent spot to sip on a fire resist potion, I'm thinking, eh? <laughs> I'm slowly but surely feeling a little bit unsafe here. Like, if a creeper blasts us into the lava, we die. Let's sip on one of these. Now we are immune to the lava, so we don't have to worry. There's got to be diamonds with this much exposure, right? Surely. I mean, this is insanity. Look at this. I can't believe it, though. There's legitimately no diamonds. What? 51 diamonds. We want to hit 64 diamonds before we go home. We just need a few more big, big batches and we're good. Nothing. Creeper action, though. Hello there, bud. Oh, isn't that cute? That is wrong. I'm taking it to the face, dude. Yo, this is like a this is a creeper spawner in there. Jeez. Right, we need another night vision. Another sip of night vision here. They're under the lake. I mean, we could swim into the lake and look. True. That is a legitimate strategy. We can go in the lava, right? Yeah, okay. You don't swim very well in lava, though. You also don't see very far, even with night vision, right? Let's just walk in this direction. Yeah, this seems safe. I mean... Although, ironically, this might be the safest place in Minecraft for us right now. Because no mob, there is li li like literally no mob that can get to us. <laughs> we got six minutes of this, guys. Please, please time it. Somebody hit the timer. Six minutes. I wonder why we can't see or swim well in literal molten magma. Yeah, I wonder. It's a conundrum. <laughs> the lava will burn anything we mine? Um, is that true? Let's see. What if we mine this? Let's see. Hmm. That did burn it instantly, didn't it? Hold on. Wait, how do you collect it then? 
Wait, can we even collect the diamonds from under the lava? Oh, we need doors, right? Wait, do we have wood? We do have wood. Yeah, we just need a door. We can do this with a door. Lava tick is off. Uh, fire tick is off on the server, so a door actually is a pretty cheaty way to uh, to do this. Check out the big smorts, friends. Look at this. There is the wood. We do this with door. I mean, that's if we even find diamonds, though. You know what? Let's just max door. Probably should take this opportunity to get our hands on another um, bit of noob juice, too. Because it will run out. Chuck all of this away. How are we looking on the Anub juice? Three minutes and 46. Hup. Splish, splash. I was taking a bath in the lava. Yeah, the fact that you sink in molten lava just shows how heavy Steve is. True. Yo, green bean pancake. Maybe Jack Black was the correct casting. Because <laughs> Jack Black is nice and round. So we could do this, right? Bloop. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I guess it's it doesn't work that well. It doesn't work as well as I thought it would, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure, like, all the time we are, are doing this, we could have found diamonds already, right? So th this is probably, like, a pretty inefficient way to find diamonds, I guess. Splish, splash, yo, diamonds will poof. I don't know, I think with the door action, we can do it. I'm just curious to see if it'll actually work, you know? It is fun, yeah. It is fun. It's fun to see if we can actually make it work. I guess a torch kills the lava source too, so maybe you can like... Torch and break the block real quick. Yeah, you can't... Oh, you want to break the block underneath the, the diamond. And then put a torch in it, right? So you want to do something like this. Boom. See, and the diamond will go down into that area. So you might not even need the door, actually. Two minutes on the fire potion. Everything's fine. Why are we not moving? <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> Redstone, not diamond. Diamond, please. Oh, I don't think we're going to get a chance to experiment with this, guys. Get that noob juice ready, though. Although this lake is rather large. And I, I feel like we haven't really covered most of it yet. Yeah, it doesn't really seem worth it, eh? Like, the time investment here is is not paying off for us, that's for sure. I feel like we've been here already, although it all pretty much looks the same down here, right? <laughs> We're playing chicken with molten magma. <laughs> uh, Twenty-three seconds to go. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, 
All right. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Okay, well, this hasn't worked, unfortunately. That's um that's unfortunate. I feel like we did explore most of this. So, we tried. We tried. You know, sometimes Minecraft just doesn't deliver, and that's okay. Lava, you may have the doors. We do not need those anymore. Hey, Monty, tip 10 pounds. Allow me to pay for the time. D. <laughs> hey, Monty, say thank you very much for the 10 pound TTS alert. And yes, indeed. That, uh... Well, jeez, I, I wish my wages were that high. That was like, what, 10 pounds a minute. <laughs> Goodness. That's like Elon Musk rate right there. Thank you, Monate. That is uh, very kind of you. And um, I hope you enjoyed our little adventure into the, the depths of this lava lake. And, and great to see you in stream as, uh, as always. Trying to give the viewers a heart attack. Well, you know, just got to make sure you guys are awake out there. You know, we've been... Uh, We've been cozy caving now for a couple of hours. Just want to make sure you're all awake. Ito's in the house. What's up, Ito? Oh, we got new juice on. We don't have to worry too much about the lava, eh? Let's yoink all of the redstone, though. Beautiful. Diamonds, please. Where are you at? used so much redstone in the uh, in our new build it's actually kind of crazy used up all of our, our redstone um cache if you will although to be fair we didn't really have that much redstone to begin with i am amazed that there are no diamonds in this entire thing we have now circumvented the entire lake of magma and there's nothing Friends, family, fellow Minecrafters, please explain what's uh, what's happening here. What's going on? What is the meaning of this? One sec, guys. Yeah, we have learned that uh, hunting diamonds in lava is a terrible idea. Wait, diamonds! Okay, well, you know. They're all the way on the other side of the lake. That's where they were hiding. Let's just expose some, some rock faces here, see what we can find. Dr. Evil vibes? Yeah, I mean, the, the way that... Um, Dr. Evil says magma is one of the greatest moments in comedic cinematic history. We'll drop him into some liquid magma. I can't remember the exact quote, but... Dr. Evil, probably one of my favorite characters of all time, also. Just the most awesome antagonist ever made. Clayton, thank you for the 43 months, by the way. Welcome back. Let's make some noises for you, bud. One million dollars. Right, let's just make sure these diamonds are nice and accessible. Liquid hot magma. Giant laser beam. Can I just get some sharks with freaking laser beams on their head? God, my American accent is terrible. Ooh, this was a juicy stack. So all... Oh my... Wait. Was this stack bigger than eight? Wait, what? How big was the stack? I, that is... Was this a double stack? I don't think I've ever seen that many diamond ores in one place before. Is that a twin node? Dudes, this has been such a crazy adventure with you. We found... That rare diamond fossil thing? I've never found one of those before. We yoinked like 
15 diamond ores out of that fossil. And now we just ripped through a double ore spawn. What in the name of all that is diamondy, friends? This has been a one of the greatest diamond hunts that we have done in this season. The last time we went diamond hunting, we I think we died. <laughs> if I recall correctly, I do believe we died. We found over a stack of diamond ore. Nice. Stacks on stacks on stacks, baby. We're just breaking bad out here, man. Nice. Um, dearest friends, it has just gone 10.30 in the evening for, for me. And we've been streaming for about two hours. Okay. We'll, we'll do a little bit more. A little bit more. Let's see if we can find, like, one more little decent uh, little batch somewhere. That was kind of satisfying, though, right? Like, we completely just ripped our way through this lava lake. Even swam in it. It was almost like a quest. Like, at the very end of the lava lake, all the diamonds were waiting for us. A double stacked node of diamond action. Beautiful. Right, where did we come from? Over here, I think, right? I don't know if there was more up here, though. Let's go look. Should we not go home? Put the oars there? I'm, I kind of want to... I'm at the point in the episode where I've... So I'm working on episode 42, right? Um, I've shown off, like, the mycelium that we did together on stream a couple days ago. And I have explained... I've shown the new blueprint for the, uh, the factory that we're going to make next. And in the episode, I've just started digging out the, like, the hole where we're going to build the, the build. I kind of want to cut now and do a, it's the next day in real life, everybody. And here we are, deep underground, after one of the most incredible mining adventures that I've had during live stream for a very, very long time. By the way, if you don't know, we live stream on twitch.tv forward slash random TV. Make sure you're following us so that you can come and join us for these wonderful streaming adventures check it out though managed to find not only a fossil with diamonds in it cut to like the stream footage but also what seemed to have been a double spawned diamond node which was awesome cut to the diamond spawn being found managed to yoink out 64 diamond ores which is exactly what we need now to go shopping cut in the shopping district, oh, then then maybe we go back up to the base and we stack these diamonds up and then chop them down in like a 10 second time lapse. Then we cut to the shopping district where we go on a shopping spree. That's kind of like my vision for the next episode. I don't know if that made any sense at all. Why not double your earnings at the casino? <laughs> Um, I've, uh, I've had some big losses at the casino. I, I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna stay away from the casino for, for a while. I, uh, I blasted, like, all the, the last diamonds that I had into roulette with, with Karanis. Although, to be fair, it was Karanis' fault. I blame Karanis. Karanis, uh, came in with the, I'm gonna blow everything that I have in this casino energy and i just you know i had to join him it was uh, diamonds it was it was just you know it just looks like so much fun <laughs> and then we lost everything so yeah also doc hasn't bought any shirts so i i, I you know i don't know what um i don't know what doc is doing with all of his new newfound wealth but he's clearly not not spending it on the good stuff like art I mean, is that not what you do when you become, like, crazy rich? 
through gambling, <laughs> right? Isn't that what like if you if you know if you think about Scarface or um, the Sopranos? Oh, diamonds! Nice. We hacked straight into some more. Or any of the you know New York gangster films or whatever. Like the first thing that the gangsters do is they buy art, and is. I mean, sherds are like pretty close to some of the rarest things in the game, you know? Like, I would think that Doc should definitely be spending some of those earnings on like some of the rarest rarities in all of Minecraft. In fact, this makes me want to go and harass him this in the next episode and be like, yo, Doc, you know, you claim to be the god, the, the goat father on the server, but you don't even have a single sherd in your collection? That is pathetic. Pathetic. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I don't want to go too far away from that cool lava lake, though. That's kind of where I want to start the next episode, to be honest. Yeah. Where is that cool lava lake, anyway? Oh, I'm discombobulated again. I think it's the... This away? This away? No, wait. What? It's not this away. This is where we found the diamonds. Oh, I'm lost. Well, if it's not that away, then it must be this away. Okay, I think. I think we've been here. Yeah, okay. I think I know where we are now. Yep, yep, yep. Here we are. You know what? Water. Please stop watering, dude. You are very annoying. Uh, Which away was it now? Was it this away? Oh, wait. Maybe we need that water, actually. I just killed this water, didn't I? And we're going to be stuck down here. Dang it! Wait, 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 wait. Water. Continue to waterficate, please. Wait, 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 wait. Not yet. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Water. You're the best. Um, yeah, I'm 100% lost. Oh, you hate to see it. Although it might have been down here, right? Ah. This is ringing a bell. Did we dig through into it from here? Jeez, this was quite an epic exploration that we did. We've uncovered quite a lot of ground. We covered a lot of ground down here. Uh, wait, was it this way? No, I don't think so. We went all the way up here? What the heck, guys? Where have we been? We've been on some crazy, crazy uh, adventuring today. Jeez. We could use the free cam. True. But it would be nice to, like, get through this sesh without using free cam, right? Like, this would have been, like, a... If we can do that, then we can chalk this off as a... 100% vanilla vanilla run you know with no with no help used and that's cool i think it was back where i said it wasn't okay well <laughs> that's not good is this where i said it wasn't wait I feel like we've just gone in a circle. Wait, oh, this feels, this feels good. This feels promising. No! <laughs> uh, 
That's not the right way. You think it's where we cut off the waterfall? Yeah, I think so too. I think cutting the waterfall was a terrible, terrible error that has cost us dearly. I mean, it's it's going to force us to use the Gigabug. You hate to see it, really. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. This is promising. This is where the water was flowing, wasn't it? Oh, no, wait. We're stuck in a loop. We're stuck in a loop. We're stuck in a terrible, terrible loop, everyone. This is where the water went down, right? I'm pretty sure it's somewhere here now. Maybe up here, actually. Oh, I think this water confused me. Yes. Yes, we found it. Huh. Wait, was that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought I heard a creeper. There's our little thing. Oh, yeah, this is where the uh, the tropical fish were splatterating. <laughs> Splat. Okay, nice. Nice, we found it. Right. We need to learn the ways of the scumpus. True. I do need to get skids to talk, teach me how to use a scumpus. How about the ender pearl that lets you briefly see through the, uh, to clip through the walls? Trick. There we go. There is the lava lake of awesomeness. There it be, my dearest friends. Let's throw the gigavisor on and see what it looks like. Good lord. With the night vision, the shaders are burning my eyeballs. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, guys, I'm not sure exactly what to say at the end of our stream here, uh, other than a massive thank you for the incredible generosity that came through tonight. Over 350 subs gifted and um, some very generous cash donations also from Gongan and Fufalicious and Monote and many, many others. A bunch of bits came through tonight, guys. Very, very... Over the support was very overwhelming tonight and very humbling. And... Um, you know, it makes me realize how lucky I am to be able to do this and, and have people out there that support me in this way. Because without the support, I wouldn't be able to do um, do the things to keep the show up and running. And I want to keep the show up and running as long as possible. So thank you very much, guys, for um, for enabling that and, uh, and helping me out. I really appreciate it. Moderators, thank you so very much for looking after the stream this evening. And I hope everybody had a great time. We're going home with a stack and a smidge of diamond ore, which is most tasty and satisfyingly juicy. I'm happy about that. We can go do some shopping tomorrow in uh, my next episode, which will be awesome. Looks like Skiz is you hanging out on the server. Up. You brought. Looks what like he's I doing got? a little bit of building, which looks great. So I'm going to send you over there, guys. Send some love to the old Skiz from me. And we will see you all again. Maybe tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then Monday we shall see you here again on the Twitch. Thanks again for all the love tonight, guys. Really, really appreciate you all, and uh, have a great weekend. Bye, guys! <laughs>